let's talk about the types of winter precipitation because it depends on the temperature, but not just the temperature at the surface. It really depends on the temperature at all layers of the atmosphere. So let's start with rain because this one's really easy. Rain is when you have warm air higher in the atmosphere that melts the ice crystals and it stays warm all the way down to the surface. So that's why it stays as liquid. However, there's another type of precipitation. This actually I think is the most dangerous type of winter precipitation freezing rain. This is when you have warm air higher in the atmosphere, but just at the surface, like way down at the surface, you have some cold air. So what happens? The rain falls, but when it hits the surface, it freezes as ice, and that can be very dangerous. We also have a type of weather called sleet. Now sleet is when there's a warmer layer higher in the atmosphere, but then there's a pretty deep layer of cold air. So what happens? Those ice crystals, they melt to rain, but then they refreeze as ice pellets as sleet before they hit the ground. Sleet a lot of times can kind of bounce around and can be a very messy form of winter precipitation. Then of course we have the one that most school kids like snow. Snow is when you have cold air higher in the atmosphere than all the way down to the surface. So the ice crystals stay as ice crystals. They can accumulate. You get enough, you get a snow day.